Well, we are here at Guatney Buick GMC, and we are talking about the newest EV charges right here at the dealership. Joining me today is Justin. Justin, thank you so much for being with me. When did these chargers get here? When did they open up? That is a great question. We actually have been working on this for about a year. Um, just in the last month, we've got them fired up, powered up, ready to charge. This is super cool to see. Is it common that dealerships have EV chargers like this? No, it's not. We're one of the first dealerships to actually have public chargers uh, sitting here on the lot for people to use. So how exactly would an EV car owner know that y'all are here and have these chargers? Another great question. There's several apps that track where chargers are located. Also on Google Maps, you can find our chargers right here. So using an EV vehicle, can you technically go on a road trip and just travel across the country? You can. Again, there's several apps available. You can plot your course based on the location of chargers and make sure you've got enough charge in your vehicle to, to make that trip. What current vehicles in the GM lineup are using um, these chargers? Are, they, are there any future vehicles I'll be using these chargers? There is, there is a slew of vehicles. Uh, we have our Hummer EV that's, that's slowly coming in one at a time now. Uh, Chevy has the Bolt and the, the Volt that are both electric. Uh, the Cadillac Lyric, uh, Chevy Blazer that's coming. So there's several that are available uh, in the near future. So obviously if we're looking at a standard gas pump, we'll see the unleaded uh, nozzle, the diesel nozzle. So what do these chargers have that's different? That is a great question. Again, uh, we have uh, several different adapters here uh, to accommodate uh, the different types of vehicles available. Uh, and depending on your type of vehicle, there's adapters out there to, to accommodate even a Tesla. So you can charge a Tesla at our, our charging uh, stations as well. So anybody could charge any different type of EV model? Pretty much any type of EV. Other than charging your phone here, you can do pretty much anything. <laughs> How long does it take to charge an EV? Great question. Uh, depending on the size of the battery in your car, uh, and how fast the car will allow it to be charged. Uh, anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes will, will accommodate most vehicles. All right, Justin, so show me how this is done. Okay, pretty straightforward. We've got a Tesla, so we've got our Tesla adapter. Um, basically, we're gonna take our charger. Here, hold on to the uh -huh. adapter there. Kind Plug, of heavy. That, that, that adapter is <laughs> a heavy <core>. one. <laughs> and then we're gonna push the button at the end of that adapter and it's gonna open the door <gasps> right here. Wow. Uh, pretty high tech, I know. <laughs> And just plug it in there. And that's all we got to do. Well, that's easy. So from there, we just take our card, tap it on there. It wow. starts to communicate with the vehicle and the charging will begin. Well, now that I've got it all plugged in, it's going to take 20 to 40 minutes. What do I do? Now I get to show you some new vehicles at Guatney Buick GMC. <laughs> okay. Is it more cost effective to charge your vehicle at home or versus coming to one of these stations? Well, they do cost a little bit more to charge uh, at a fast charge station, um, but not a whole lot more. Uh, they charge by kilowatt mm. uh, and some stations will charge by the minute you use. Um, ours are, are charging by kilowatt. How much would that cost? It depends on the vehicle. Uh, a lot less than a full tank of gas. Uh, Twenty to thirty dollars would typically fill, you know, a lot of cars that, that are out there right now. And how s would someone pay for this? Uh, they would use their app. Uh, our stations are Blink stations, so they would set up their payment information through Blink. Uh, you'd have a, a Blink card. Oh, okay. And just tap the card, and and it'll charge your account. Well, Justin, since you basically have your own uh, gas pumps here, quote unquote, where are the snacks? I want my corn nuts. I want my Diet Coke. Where can we find those? Right inside. Let's go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. We'll have more Good Morning Arkansas after the break.